Welcome to Bike Valley and welcome to the Bharat Mobility Expo where we are at the Yamaha stall and here's the NMAX 155. Now Yamaha India is considering to launch this scooter in India. So what's so special about it? Well, we have the Aerox 155 already on sale. And this you could say is like the cousin of the Aerox 155. Uh, it gets a typical maxi scooter styling, scooters that you see in Europe. Uh, if you look at the front end, again a very big front apron with integrated LED headlights. You have the turn indicator over here, which is also an LED unit and a very big uh, windscreen. Very sharp, angular design and I think it looks very nice. Goes with the maxi scooter styling that you see on uh, regular scooters. And uh, the front apron is quite large, uh, looks quite imposing from the front end and I think I really like this side of the maxi scooter. Move to the side again, you've got a central spine similar to the Aerox under which uh, is the fuel tank. The floorboard is on either side so forget about carrying a gas cylinder or big uh, luggage uh, on the floorboard over here. But move to the side again, this portion is painted, looks very neat and then this is the tail section. Uh, again, has been very nicely integrated. You have LED tail lights over here and uh, halogen indicators. Uh, very big scooter though, much bigger than the Aerox and uh, because it's so big in size, you also get a lot of real estate. So let me hop on and as you can see, I have a lot of space. I wear size 10 boots and there's a lot of space for my feet. I can keep my feet like this and this is what the riding position looks like. Uh, typical maxi scooter position. It feels very comfortable. This seat is nicely scooped and there's good support at the back over here. So you can just stretch back, relax and ride the scooter through traffic or even on a long distance journey. Uh, move to the side now and again, even for the pillion there is reasonably good space unlike uh, what you find in the Aerox. Now let's come down to other bits. You have a digital display. I do not have the key. So I can't really show you what it looks like, but it is a LCD display and uh, you have all your regular buttons over here for indication. You have a hazard light over here, a hazard switch. Uh, and here you have what looks like keyless ignition and a remote release for the fuel and the seat. Uh, there's a charging port over here and a little deep recess where you can store a phone quite easily. And there's also a glove box over here. It isn't too deep. You can probably store a phone uh, and a, probably a small wallet or something, but that's about it. Because the fuel tank sits underneath over here, you will have a lot of storage for your luggage. Uh, overall, again, a very nice, very good looking scooter. I like the paint scheme. Uh, let's talk about the chassis now. It's got an underbone chassis and it's suspended by a telescopic fork at the front and a twin shock absorbers at the rear. You have alloy wheels. Uh, with uh, these are 13 inch alloy wheels but by the looks of it the scooter's got ABS disc brakes at both ends uh, looks like a very promising scooter again it should be really fun to ride I think we love the Aerox a lot it, the only complaint we've got is the stiff suspension but I think going with uh, the design and application of this maxi scooter this is not a sporty maxi scooter but uh, designed more to be an urban runabout and you can also take it out on the highway so it should be a, a good scooter for that uh, purpose Lastly, let's go down to the engine and again, this is a very familiar engine. We love it a lot. It makes about a little over 15 horsepower and just a shade under 14 Nm of torque. Uh, one of our favorite engines out there. We love it in the MP15, we love it in the Aerox. Uh, and I'm sure this is going to be an excellent performer in the scooter as well. The fuel efficiency will be good as well. It's got a stop start system. Uh, the Aerox is going to return pretty good fuel economy for an automatic scooter. So overall, let us know what you think about the NMAX 155. Uh, should Yama launch it in India? What do you think the price should be like? And uh, are you ready to put your money down on a 150cc plus maxi scooter?